All right, this is the Christmas update of the Grow Dome. We're looking at the runoff from the storm on the pool cover. Plenty of water here. I'm going to pump that in to the Grow Dome. This is our 250 gallon fish tank. This is our pool water. It's a little on the yellow side, or brown, or... Anyway, it's not as dirty as it looks, it's just kind of stained from maple leaves in the pool, on the pool cover. And it's a little bit acidic. About uh, 6.7, maybe 6.6. .6. Over here is the sump tank for the grow beds. There's uh, Sharky, keeping an eye on the water temperature. He says it's... Uh, you can see that, about 55, 58 degrees, that's not too bad, it's a nice sunny day today for a damn change, the sun has been covered up by clouds constantly every day, for like ever now, this is the first clear day that I've saw a blue sky, since I can even remember, this is grow bed number one, got a hold of some Expanded clay media. It's real real light compared to gravel Easy to get your hands into and work with and This is the water from the uh, thousand gallons per hour pump it's in the sump tank Got the uh, Bunch of shutoff valves to control the flow for each tank I only have three of them online so far because the other two had to hold the gravel <laughs> so I could get it in these other beds. Here is the uh, bell siphon. This one here I think is just getting ready to... No, it's just getting ready. It's get, finishing dumping. That was the sand over here. Let's see if any of these are getting ready to dump yet. No, it's filling up. That's filling up. But anyway, what happens is the uh, the grow bed media is 12 inches deep. The uh, water fills up to 11 inches, and this, at that 11 in, 11 inches, the uh, water spills over inside of the siphon and flushes the whole tank. It usually takes about 10 to 15 minutes for it to fill and flush. These are their four and five grow bed. Just got some Sikaflex on them today. It usually takes two or three days for that stuff to set up. So these are going to be sitting in here for a while. But anyway, this is the update. Here is the fish tank whenever I get the chemistry right. This water here is really acidy. Just did a pH test of the grow bed water, which is still cloudy from all the particles swimming around in it from the... Uh, grow bed media. This is real alkaline so maybe mixing them together put balance on them out. Probably what I'm going to do is just drain this and uh, put fresh rain water in because uh, we've been getting plenty of rain almost non-stop so it won't be much to get uh, some fresh rain water in here and just pump this out. But for now this is just going to sit in here for a test and uh, do some experiments on it. I'm just going to let this thing fill up a while and figure out exactly how I'm going to set the circulation from the sump to the fish tank back to the sump. Basically the idea is to pump the water out of the sump, circulate it into the tank, and then uh, put an overflow on the side here to let it overflow back into the sump to kind of keep a constant circulation. Got a chance to put some insulation up on the north wall. It helps to keep the temperature up at night. It's been uh, freezing here the past couple of nights, but the dome's only gone down to about 48. Actually, last night was more like 42. But all I'm using for heat for now is this little space heater. It's only like a thousand watts. Actually, 1250. And uh, plan is to either build a rocket stove, a bigger rocket stove, we built a prototype, 
or uh, figure out how I'm going to use solar to heat this place. Probably solar water heater would be best for this much water in here.